Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant and we are back to play some more Celasta Crown of the Master. I am not recognizing this place. <laughs> ah no, okay. Gotta go through here, never mind. Uh, we are on the quest, the gem quest, the Cradle of Fire. And currently we need to go through Red Scar Gate. And if my information is correct with what I learned from the Goblin Friend or the Goblin Leader of the Red Scar, not the Red Scar tribe, the Raven something tribe, he wants us to go to the Sunken City, uh, or rather he would like to go to the Sunken City, and he wants us to go to a place which is called, I think, the Necropolis, and retrieve a key, oh, it's here that should be in the corpse of an ancient emperor which allows access to the sunken city so i think i haven't i haven't been in this gate before have i not entirely sure hmm okay but this is apparently the way not sure where this is going to lead Oh, okay. By the by, this screen it looks like it leads directly into the necropolis. This art is pretty cool. Hopefully the area is as well. Hmm. I think that's the necropolis. Orcs don't go there. I really can't see why. <laughs> Let's go find this key. Man, for, for those of you who have seen the TV show Friends, probably a lot of you did, Patricia in this party is pretty much Chandler. So much sarcasm on every single occasion, Jesus. Okay, so we have two doors. <clears throat> I'm gonna go cautiously. I'm kind of expecting undead, right? Necropolis. Okay, door cannot be opened. This is probably the way out. I am equipped with daylight. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the, the areas in this game, I really love them. They're so well made. Okay, this is just random lore pieces, I suppose. Elven lore. Oh god, there's a lot of text here. I was wondering if I should... This is different, wait. I was wondering if I should read everything because the information here might be relevant for like a puzzle up ahead. But it's just so much text. So we're not gonna go for that here. I'm gonna read this big one though, maybe. In memory of Galathriel Amanathon, Lady of the Ha- <clears throat> Never mind. We're just gonna move on. I mean, it looks so mysterious, I love it. That's a change of mood. Fantastic. It's like traveling back in time, a thousand years. Well, it still stinks of sulfur. Hmm. Okay, so what have we here? We have some statues. Prince Kalin, firstborn. His son never got to be emperor died too soon hmm. murdered most likely happy families and all that let's go okay we have our answer this isn't just any two yeah 
It's a damn Imperial slaver's tomb. We know. This one was Lather Erlin, first of his name. In the middle of the Badlands, not in the capital city. That's weird. It might have been displaced during the Cataclysm and sunk down here. I would have expected something bigger, fancier. Maybe he was a modest emperor, if such a <laughs> thing's possible. We still need to find an entrance to the city. Let's go. Okay, so we're learning about the prince, the slaver emperor. Uh, his wife, maybe? Or daughter? Queen Sefanala, mm. dearest wife and mother. Oh, cute. Show some respect. <laughs> Slavers, the whole lot of them. Okay. Some slaving action was going on in this family. So far, this looks more like a museum than a crypt. Manakal and custom. The tombs of the powerful have a hall of honor before the burial chamber. It's a map of the Manakal and Empire. It must be a thousand years old. Maybe more. So they really did rule the world. This is invaluable. I should compare it to our own map. Here. This is Hickory Corner Wood. I've been there, and there's nothing but an old statue. The map shows an outpost. Hmm. Maybe it's buried like this city. Let's put that oh. on our map. Maybe someday we can go check it out. I want to. Man, underground cities are just my kind of thing. Especially if there's dwarven style to it. Fire is lit up. Okay, we have a skeletal sorcerer, so yeah, of course, expecting undead was kind of obvious. A skeleton archer, skeleton archer, and we have a spectral avenger. So I suppose what I would want to do here is maybe place Cordant over here. Kebra over here. Patricia could come into this place. And then I'm gonna have Corgan and Albert deal with the Spectral Avenger. So you guys can just move one step further. Okay, nobody's getting spotted. Night, night. Okay, so the archers shouldn't be any kind of concern. The Avenger might be because it deals necrotic damage and that can be troublesome. I am going to surprise them, so I'm gonna try and move as up ahead as I can. And should I start by attacking the Avenger or the Sorcerer is the question. I'm gonna go for the sorcerer because I think that my frontline can deal with her. There's also two spectral knights, however. Okay, still, <clears throat> let's just go for the sorcerer here. I think it's the best, the the better choice. But maybe wait until they are kind of in range. Okay, we get a nice uh, vantage point here. Okay, that's it. So shoot the sorcerer. Idiot. Okay, they got revealed. We did not, which is what I wanted. Oh, man, one HP. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> okay, we're still in hiding. So this one is. Pretty guaranteed to be dead. 
Let's go for the Spectral Avenger <clears throat> and deal as much damage as we can. Go on. Okay, they don't have a lot of HP. This shouldn't be too hard. Man, I am liking this axe though. I would prefer for the uh, for the um, bonus damage to be some kind of elemental damage. Oh wait, okay, it goes up. But I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so you died to this. Lovely. We can just... Ah, because I have Misty Step, correct, okay. End our turn. Surprised. Albert can just kill this bitchy. Dead. And I believe I'm just gonna stay where I am. Okay. Kebras' turn. Let's go. I, I think Undead are probably resistant to cold. But... Okay, no they're not. She's still in hiding. The question here is, should I shoot... A weak enemy and kill him right here? Or should I shoot a more powerful enemy to try and do the most damage? Yeah, more powerful enemy. Nice damage. Okay. A good choice. In my opinion. Let's ready up a melee attack. What are you doing? Nice roll, but nope, you cannot hit me. Uh, the archer is gonna have line of sight, however. The archer can pass. I am more interested in blocking this one. If that even happens. Let's take care of the weak ones here. Pew! Six damage, not a lot. Got spotted. He's gonna go for Corgan, I think. Aha, take damage. Yeah, but see, I don't get it. I Weren't these enemies supposed to be resistant to piercing? I kind of feel like they were. You cannot defeat me! Okay. You should be able to kill this guy. 1 HP and you have advantage. Thank you. She is still hiding. She's a very stealthy orc. <laughs> oh, never mind. She got spotted now. Okay. So, once again, going for the most damage here would be going for this guy. Or I can just kill this one right off. Kill this one. Because these can actually deal some damage. Smack. Smack. Take Good. That. He's going for Albert. Let's block it. Okay, now. Can I shoot this guy? I can. Pew. Ooh, nice roll. Uh, I can't really reach him. Let's go for the Sacred Flame. Cool, 5 damage, not bad. Play Frost. easy <clears throat> now I'm curious man they should be resistant have the resistances just just completely stopped working god damn it doesn't say 
So, for instance, the enforcer is vulnerable to bludgeoning, but apparently not resistant to anything. What the hell? This is very strange. Hmm. Okay, well, uh... Maybe I'm just misremembering, I'm not sure. But I mean, it does sound like skeletons should be... Resistant to piercing. Vulnerable to bludgeoning. And pretty much whatever to slashing. Is what I feel. But apparently not. You have six arrows, so I gotta um, refresh the arrows here. So you can take the, uh, take these. Uh, I am gonna use the quiver. Generate 20 arrows. Lovely. This quiver is pretty cool. Even though I don't really need it. We have so many arrows. We pick so many up from enemy archers. And... It's just a normal hide. And usually the enemies die in just a couple of shots. So we don't really get to spin the whole lot. Scroll of Bane... Oh man... <clears throat> really? Whatever... <laughs> I had just learned that... Okay, so some arrows... I guess we can take them just because... Ooh. Man, the Circle of the Nanthar really doesn't have a lot of uh, reputation points yet. But I, I don't really like them either, so it does not really matter. Okay, I think I've looted everything here. Empty, there's a... Ca what? Hmm. Oh, there's a sack over there. Is it over here? Yes, it is. Confusion. A lot of scrolls for stuff I already have, sadly. Oh god. This is sounding like boss fight right here. And the worst part about it is I don't really know where I would position my people. I'm guessing Corgan here, Albert here. You there, you there, and you in the middle, or somewhere at least. Okay, <clears throat> so this is not trapped. No, 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 no. The room has lighting. Who dares oh, disturb the eternal rest of the Emperor Leifa? Oh, nice. Hmm. So I'm guessing we can either fight or take a non-combat approach. Let's check out the conversation first. Your city is infested by orcs. We're here to clean it up. What are orcs? Smart move. <laughs> Evil monsters. They're desecrating your city. Monsters, you say? We call them orcs. They're like dwarves, but worse. Really? Then you are on a sacred mission. Hmm. Monsters must not defile a city of emperors. Leave this holy tomb and do what you must. There is a minor gate by the tapestry of the heir Eli. 
Use it to reach the inner city. Thank you, Your Imperial Majesty. Hmm. Did you see that? The ghost? Yes, we did. The key. It's in the coffin. <laughs> oh, no. So what do we do? Wake him up again and ask nicely? Get ready for a fight. Why don't we just go into the city and kill a rock? Which is worse, fighting a rock by ourselves or this dead emperor? Hmm. This is actually pretty interesting. So I can go and face a rock by myself. I can fight this guy to gain the favor of the orcs and then get the orcs to come with me. Or I can also kill this guy, get the key, kill a rock, and then maybe go back. Okay, there's a lot of choices. <coughs> Let's see. I'm going to do a save here. Uh, dead Emperor choices. I want to explore them all. Okay, so first of all, I think I'm going to explore the combat option, which is usually the coolest one. You again? Our apologies, Emperor, but your time has long gone. Liars! Traitors! Okay. I don't even get a choice like ask for the key. Ooh, two initiative. <coughs> Man, he's not even gonna put up a fight. He's just gonna die horribly. Oh, 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 wait. Why aren't these in the... turns? This is very strange. Um... Okay, let's see what happens, I suppose. Oh! You'll surely prevail! Half HP gone, pretty much. Oh! Wait, I don't get it. Oh, I thought I took damage, it was just the attack animation. He used a paralyzing gaze. Yeah. But I am a wise dwarf, bitch. You cannot kill me. You cannot paralyze me, I mean. So, what do you deserve? The only thing really I can do, standing up, up close this much, is just use magic missiles or hit him with my stuff. Uh, do I want to use magic missiles? Maybe I should just dodge? Or open up room for Albert to come to? <coughs> okay, I will do that. I'm gonna disengage and I'm gonna move over here. Or actually over here, maybe. Okay. What you doing? Oh, you bitchy. Had I known, had I known this, <laughs> I would have damaged him further. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I can haste Corgan, I suppose. Now let's haste Corgan. Have him kill that bitch really fast. Oh. Man, this is unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Still, I'm gonna dash, I'm gonna come over here. Artistic note. Nice Not jump. Much. I can still hit him. Oh. Let's action search. Hit. And hit. And hit. Oh. I have no more. Oh, this guy moves fast. Yeah, you're in light. You are in light, my friend. Okay. Flame sun. <laughs> no. Um, I'm not sure if he's a spellcaster and if he has access to shield. 
But, I mean, even if he is, he's at such a low HP that, like, who cares? Let me just refresh my memory as to what this does. Summons a sphere of biting insects. Lasts for 10 minutes, it's concentration, 4d10 piercing damage, and cannot see. Okay. Um, go for the safe route here. This kills him, right? Yep. Hey, that was mine. Nope, mine. Your turn. You bitch. And he drained me. Why do you do this to me? Okay, so we're gonna go for the middle one first. The left one, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I we have the poisoner um feet. Not feet, ability, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh am I gonna bother using spells on these guys? I don't think so. They have this advantage. Well <laughs> Corgan is hasted. So I think we're fine. I could smack him. But I think I prefer to simply disengage and come over here. Okay. Thankfully, Corgan can move all the way up here. And he has three attacks. Wait till the next one. Nice. Lovely. Come on, hit him. Yes. You did. Your turn, Albert. Mm. Strike. Stunned. Get screwed. <laughs> he is still stunned. Okay, sneak attack damage with advantage. Got you. 32 damage. Just casually. Okay. Let's get closer so we can get the buff from Albert. Play fast. Smack him. Okay, so this fight is done, it's pretty easy. We could have done this apparently without having to fight. But then we would have to fight a rock by ourselves. Which is something I also want to try. So, this should be the key. Oh, no, it's a blood ruby. Okay, it's a good thing I fought him. And the key, where is the key? The key was inside of here. Or is it here? Okay, I did not get the key, right? Maybe when I killed him? Sister okay, we got it. Okay, we got the golden key from the emperor. It's... Over here, the golden key. A golden key of incredible complexity crafted by the clock masters of the Manakalan Empire. Alright. Um, so I think I will always kill him. The next decision is the one that kind of depends on a, on a save. So, uh, killed emperor. And what's this? Oh, wait, I think this means there's a minor gate somewhere around here to teleport me into the city, but there's also the key that leads to the city. Okay, I, I gotta recheck this because I don't know exactly how that went. So, we spoke to him. 
The Emperor told you there was a minor gate leading to Arok's throne room. Oh, uh, okay. Wait. So maybe, maybe I don't have a choice to fight a rock by myself if I kill him. Interesting. Let me see. Yeah, the minor gate gets deactivated. Okay. <clears throat> so I think I, my main storyline i think i'm gonna follow through helping out the orcs and then gathering them up to fight a rock but i just want to see how the fight goes if i would go solo so it's actually a good thing i did not overwrite this because i was actually thinking about it and let's see maybe like this i can use the minor gate So we've just spoken to him, he told us about the minor gate. And now it's active, okay. So uh, let's go cautiously and see how this goes. Look! Oh, there he is. Is that... Arrok! Arrok! That did the trick, eh? What are these burned corpses everywhere? Orcs. Didn't please Arok, I suppose. Well, looks like he did half the job for us. Do we need the tribes? Mm -hmm. No. I reckon we can take him. We have the advantage of surprise. Arok's still very powerful. Sure. So we need to take him down fast. We can still backtrack and follow the plan. Man, they're building him up so much. If this fight sucks, I'm going to be very sad. I mean, I think the dangerous part of this are actually the elementals, not a rock himself. Okay, so let, let's see. Do you have line of sight? No. But I'm guessing if you do, this fight should be over very soon. So let's see. I want to go... Oh. Uh, go over here, you wanna go over there, I wanna cast, because I can, I can even pre-buff, right? I can even pre-buff, that's also a very good point, to make this an extra surprise attack here. Okay, can you shoot him from where you are? I cannot see the target, because I'm over there. Mm. What about like this? This should allow her to see him. That's a lie. That's a goddamn lie. Wait, she can't see anyone. What? How not? How come? That's silly. Okay, well, um... Then maybe... Oh! I need to break down the wall. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. So, let's see how this choice would pan out. I would be coming over here, I would want Albert over there, I would want Patricia over here, and Kebra over here. Okay, we... Oh! We're getting spotted. I am gonna swap for my Ghoul's Caress Poisoned Arrows. <sighs> Gotta wait a bit. Oh, come on. Sometimes the game does not 
do what I want. Okay, Mr. Arok, you have 152 hit points, which is nothing special, let's be honest. I could explore how Cloud Kill works for some poison damage and to blind him. Not sure if this also makes uh, makes it so that I can't see into the cloud, which it, which is something to consider for sure. I could also use the black tentacles to try and restrain him. It's not a very big area though, and he is probably a spellcaster. Yeah, in fact, if he's a spellcaster, this is much better, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put a cloud kill right here. Maybe... Hmm. To force them to really get close, maybe? Nah, go like this. I think it's better. A wonderful camera angle. Okay, so what even happened? Wait. So I... Uh, I cast Cloud Kill. Ah, and I've been detected and I'm no longer hidden. <coughs> That's perfectly fine. And they should be... Blinded, but it doesn't say here. Okay. <coughs> In a turn. Did not say silent. Immune to poison. Fire elemental is attacking Albert. Uh, block. These can actually be problematic. Maybe banishment works against elementals? Like to permanently banish them? Can be permanently banished if it's extra planner. I don't even know what extra planner means, to be honest. Uh, are you extra planner? Do I have knowledge of any kind of elemental? Not really. Well, if that is the case, let me consider what to do here. I could hold the monster, I could use Contagion. <laughs> Probably does not work on a Fire Elemental. Um, I'm, I might just try and banish this Elemental here. Does this hold two? Plus one target. I would lose out my level 5 spell, but can this hit this one and this one? It can. Well, luck be lady. Pew! Okay, one's gone. The other one is still here. That's okay. Uh, this guy has a fire breath attack, but he should be weaker. Let's just try and kill off the... Um, hmm. Yeah, the bigger one here, I think. Alright, good damage. Wonderful damage. Action surge. Hit him again. Good. Good. Okay, so now this guy's gonna play. He's taking poison damage, he can't see. This forces him to come all the way over here. What the hell are you doing, sir? Oh. What? Why did I take fire damage? Is it because I'm close to him? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna beat him up, I think. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Uh, 
Oh, he's casting something to defend himself, I suppose. I think I'm gonna counter it in case it's something like shield. So that I can hit him later. So, counter. It was shield. Yeah, I think being in close proximity to him is giving us fire damage per turn. Okay, so... What can I do here? I think the wisest choice is to haste Corgan. I could also bless everyone. Or I could even use Spirit Guardians. There's a lot of nice choices here, honestly. I'm gonna go for Spirit Guardians. It doesn't hit the Elemental, which is kind of unfortunate, but it hits all three of these. So yeah, let's cast this. Wait, what did I do? I said this, right? Ah, a position for the sphere. What is... Huh? Okay, I was confused there for a second. We have Spirit Guardians. My turn. So I can't really do much here because I'm kind of surrounded. I am concentrating on something, the Cloud Kill, but the Cloud Kill doesn't really matter. It did say that the Cloud Kill moved each round, right? The Cloud moves every round. I don't know where though. <laughs> okay, so I could cast... Improved Invis. But I think the best choice is just to deal as much damage as I can to this guy. By going for something like this. Okay. He already reacted, so this should be without reaction. Yep. And of course I forgot to use Arcane Fury. This hurts me, you know? And I don't get it. I, I still haven't fully understood how I can use a bonus action to cast a spell. Oh well. In turn, we're gonna take some fire damage here. Um, no, I can take this damage. That's fine. They attack three times. Uh, I am gonna hit him. Take it. Take it. Die like the rest. Okay. Flawless concentration. I love this talent or this feat. Um, so, a rock is right here, it's kinda, kinda screwed. I am concentrating on the banishment. So I am gonna try and hit a rock, and also use strike, if possible. Or I can do that on the elemental. Hmm. Now let's go for him, see if we can use it, if we can hit him. We can. Nice. Okay, he saved, which sucks. Bend the knee Stunned. Perish. Okay. So, he's pretty much dead. Okay. Let's kill this one. You bitch. Dead. So, really, he wasn't anything special, as I was expecting, of course. They built him up so much. And that's all he did, was die like a bitch. <laughs> okay, now, uh, apparently I cannot reach them, which is unfortunate, to be sure. Let's switch to our longbow. 
make sure I'm not using the wrong arrows, I was, and shoot this one. Kebra. I think right here the, the nice choice is Ray of Frost because they are probably vulnerable to it. Apparently not. Okay, so my turn. I would do something like Arcane Fury. This guy is gonna get hit by the Arcane Fury bonus damage. This guy isn't. So I think I can I only need to hit him once and he should die. Yep. I like. Okay. Very low rolls here. These are these are all ones. <laughs> um well, same deal honestly. Hit him six times. Okay. So, 15 HP. Um, I think I'm gonna move over here and ready a melee attack. I think it deals more damage than trying to... Hey, okay. Mine. He died to the Spirit Guardians. No, 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 no. What about the banished target? And I wanted to explore the throne room. What the hell is going on here? Is that gem more powerful than mm. the others? Orc shamans wield a very peculiar type of magic. The gem must have been some sort of catalyst. Yeah, <laughs> the dying magic. Well, we have it now. Let's move before this place blows up. Okay. So it breaks everything in the room. Ooh, we get a magnificent uh, quarter staff and a magical pendant. This is all broken. This, I'm guessing, would be the way into the throne room, which we didn't check out, but we will. And we can just... Oh no! In order to leave, we would have to go through here. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm just checking out how this would work out. But the way I'm gonna do this is, in fact, by... By assembling the tribes and getting all the orcs together to kill this guy. Might as well just see how this plays out. I don't think he even cast a single spell, did he? He got hit by the cloud kill and he was blinded, so he was forced to move. And I think he... He... what's the word? He dashed for that. Achievement unlocked, Master of Evocation. That was close. What do you think happened to our orc friends? You mean yours? They're no friends <laughs> of mine. Burned, dead, who cares? They seem more civilized than I expected. Next time we run oh, into damn. some, you can tell them that. All right. Let's get out of here. It's not safe. Okay. I was kind of expecting some sort of dialogue with the orcs. But I guess they just die and that's it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put myself back to the point I wanted. Which is, we found the ghost of the dead emperor. He told us about the gate. But I chose to fight him and kill him to get the key. To deliver the key to the orc from one of the tribes and make him our ally. Yes, yeah, so return to Urka. 
So as you can see, the Miner Gate is no longer active. So you no longer have an option to face him alone. And we need to get back the orcs and deliver the key. Okay, apparently we already have some friends here. Okay, <clears throat> so, I believe this is a good place to stop. It's also already 50 minutes episode. Um, we've already checked out how it would be to fight him alone. It is apparently very easy. Especially because I missed my chance to have a surprise attack. <laughs> so you can see how easy that fight was, or was going to be, if we had the surprise element at the start. And now we're gonna pursue the more quest-oriented way by lining up all the orcs and trying to face them together. So, for now, I just want to thank you all for being here in the channel, watching some Solasta gameplay with me. I hope you guys are enjoying this adventure. I certainly am. If you have any thoughts, any questions about the game, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about future videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.